All right, so we have a uh, huge uh, 700 pip um, opening today to downside. Looking for a retest entry on this uh, British pound. So I put order super deep. Trying to get in on the pullbacks. This is a 50 pip grid here. So what I have on the right side of the screen is candlesticks for mechanical entries. Looking for dojis to uh, put in buy stops, sell stops. So if you're going to trade, uh, so I'm just putting in buy stops right now as we plunge. As the market plunges, I'm going to get in on the buy stops. I'm trying to get the margin up real big here to about 200. Since I didn't rewrite these to fit the um, current volatility, I'm stuck with these hotkeys right for the moment. Uh, I would rewrite them with maybe a 20 pip stop on a day like today because this here is a 50 pip grid and these are my stops. I think my widest stop here is a 15 pip stop. Let me change time frames here to get rid of that script. Also this broker has the terrible spread so those stops are not good orders. This is a 20 pip grid so I'm looking to scalp out Look at the it's the one minute chart. This would buy on a pullback, and this is the buy stops. Here we're going up. So you get our first structure uh, point here. We first uh, double bottom on the one hour after this psycho plunge. First time to be able to even put a line on here. So we've got a channel. You can draw your first channel on here. And then here's like the uh, channel envelope. to drag this into the inside. Give it a little bit of room. But this is a 20 pip grid, so this is completely different uh, wrist setups than the other. This is that scalping account. So I'm going to put buy stops in here. We're really just market orders, really. so close to the market. Okay, same thing here. Now this is getting filled on buy stops. So you just have to wait. So this big plunge here is a uh, 200 pip plunge from the sideways here where the bottom dropped out on the 15. So I'm mechanically trading on the right side of the screen and I'm using this to do my analysis here. So I've got these separated. And the target's going to be, um, so you buy here and then I had to get out at this doji here. So this was my exit earlier. It was to bail on everything that I'd bought on the bottom right here in the middle of that. So on that wick was the exit, which was the this little flat spot here. Now it looks like it just could plunge now. We could go on a major um, retest 
route down. So I'm going to put the motors in here and just uh, brew some coffee and come back see if we can't blow these accounts up. So I'll mechanically trade the five minute or I'll put it by stops and I'll pull backs here for the scalp. This one's just going to make ten pips. It's not going to set the world on fire here. But this really is count is not set up for this volatility. So when the market's uh, on fire like this, it's really difficult to uh, use the scripts that were written for a quiet market on this market. This 250, 120 pip slam here on the five minute earlier. Okay, so I'm going to put buy stops in as it drops, and I'm in $100 of margin. I'd like to get as much margin as I can going here. Here's my pullback order. And I got an end of the world pullback order where it just buys, you know, just like you can't believe, all the way down. That's what all these are. By limits, I kept hitting this key, and I think this lasts all day long, all the way down to here, which is seems kind of deep till you look at the one-hour chart, and it's kind of hard to imagine uh, that you could have made 150 pips here on the breakout of this bar as you collapsed into this sea of madness down here but that's it okay now it looks like a buy on the 15 but I've already got buy stops in so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some scalps in here so the scalps will look like this on the 5 there's the 15 in the rear view mirror zoom out a little bit trying to break this trend line and the bullish uh, view is that we're we've got a new trend line here but that may not work out we might just keep plunging so I'm just gonna load up on this plunge and hope for the best hope works in trading just have to hope for the best. People aren't hoping for the best. Okay, I don't even know. These are like super long lasting time released orders for the. Okay. Buy stops now on this. So this isn't set up for mechanical trading on the right side. If it was mechanical trading, I would just delete my moving average and put candles here. I did not delete that moving average. Okay. So this is a five minute. Let me cue these up. Hold down the control key. I mean, the Alt key and hit R. Okay, there you go. Screwed up the time frames there. I kind of butchered it. Okay, buy stops. It swapped it because it must have deleted a chart and requeued everything. Here's the one minute. So I'm just going to keep putting buy stops in here as it drops. So there's the five minute and here's the five minute. Okay, nothing I can do now. I have to wait because they had dumped out when I was in there and the top of the hour came and went if you had a sell stop on that uh, on that mechanical entry there 
you can see that entry and on the other side of the screen you've got this trend line break trying to get the party started to the upside so if I wait for uh, one more uh, doji candle like about a buy stop in here now right now I'm getting filled on buy limits and I'm going to put some more buy limits in and this one is pulling back into buy limits here's the 15 minute uh, candles now there's not as many signals in here here's the buy stop entry that could have trapped you it's just the ATRs are really just literally off the charts right now so we've had expansion of volatility in one day so we could see this thing this is a 50 pip between each horizontal line we could see a big 100 pip crush down just like we saw earlier so on the left side I've got my uh, trend line make it an envelope this is the bottom of the channel so this will be the target or retest to buy in this area so this is going to buy 75 pips down and that's going to last a long time so that may not be a good idea because the markets the more volatile the market is the shorter your uh, expiration orders you want to get stuff out of the way so you don't get involved in some of these um, vicious spikes where you don't have the right uh, size and all that nonsense so we're trying to get this account back to 10,000 here but this is really this demo was built upon a certain size of trading and we're not getting after this big uh, smash down on the on the on the one hour chart here kind of destroyed the uh, it's funny because after that it drifted up there was a trade in there but this is a severe house cleaning so I'm, these are my entrances on the black and my exits and stops around these olive colors so we just have to let that sit. And the news is, uh, the bond market is going to open up here in a little bit, and then maybe there's news or something, I don't know. But when the cash market opens, Dow Jones and that, that's going to be crazy. I'm just waiting for this uh, five minute. So right now, I'm waiting for one more minute if we get a, a doji there I'll put a buy stop in but otherwise I'm getting in right now on limits that I placed down there this one I'm gonna abuse this account this is a demo that started at two grand this is the FX Junction account this is 20 pip grid this is a scalping account so this is my scalping account for a demo spread stock in here it's two. It's this is a four pip spread right now on British on the British pound. So these buy stops really suck for entry. So I'd rather get filled on my limits here than my stops. So I can be up in the trade out of the gate as it, as it turns around. This spread is uh, about two and a half pips at its best. Three pips at its worst. So about two pips is uh, two or three pips for British pounds, okay. Especially if it's going to move 700 pips, I don't think the spread really matters too much at that point. So if you're swing trading it, so if you had the orders laid in there, you could have got in on that bottom and scalped portions of that. Looks like a big smash coming now. let's let this fill up these buy limits I'm only fourteen dollars a margin here twelve dollars a margin here if we fill all these orders and go straight down I think it could wipe the account out okay I'm gonna but uh, so we just closed this I got a buy signal I'm sending out 
to my subscribers right now. Emailing it out. Okay. Got this mechanical trade here. We got a, a doji. Doji bot would be on this right now, so I'm gonna try to do what a doji bot would do. Ten pip stop on that. That's a twenty pip grid. We've broken out and pulled back here. We've got a, a doji. Let's try to scalp this to the top of here. Try to make uh, 30 pips. And this one is all limit fills. Still underwater on this stop entry. So I'll put stops in here too. Now this is going to make more money. This account, I think I have exits here at uh, 75 pips. So there's the scalps. So here's a burst here, and then you would have got whipsawed. You could have sold that with a stop, but you got to take your 5, 10 pips and run. So putting these both on the same same queue. There's the 50 pip grid. So I got buy limits here. I would buy in pullbacks, but what if it doesn't pull back? Can I mechanically get in based on that last candle? And I say yes. So let's see what happens to that. Got five minutes till the bond market opens. Looking for that um, rally here. We just uh, stopped down. Anybody that has stopped here, just retested that. So I got a double bottom here, which doesn't mean too much in the big giant landscape of all those other pips. Just recently. But this would be the sideways accumulation for a move up or down. So we're just going to have to wait for this to play out. As soon as it starts going up, I won't put any more buy stops down. So only the black bars get the buy stop or the dojis, so they trapped me on this one. You needed a 50 pip stop on that buy stop there to make 100 pips. Which making 100 pips isn't that hard this morning. If we make it to here, we'll be up uh, 65 pips, if you can believe it. I'm going to retest to the top of this the 50 yard line coming back to the floor from what fell out earlier still haven't made it back to the floor which is way up here the support that didn't hold huge collapse here a huge chance to break out trade that didn't go down and take out the wick from last night Let's try to get in the right amount of margin here. Maybe $150 of margin to make 70 bucks here. Trying to get this account back on the map. So we're only in $50 of margin here. The worst spreads in the world. Goes to five pips sometimes here. Pull back to that trend line. So the uh, 20 pip grid here. Just trying to scalp out. Uh oh. Major pullback. You can see my other broker is ripping that back. Huge trap there. $100 of margin now. Bond market opens up in one minute. So it's either going to go to the moon or it's going to plunge. Not to the moon, but it's going to go up here or it's going to plunge. I think it stopped out of something there. So I'm up on these stop entries from that borderline there. And you got uh, two minutes left here. 
two minutes before the bond market opens. Plenty of buy limits in here, so I don't have to add any more orders to it. I gotta kick me out of something here so I can get a buy stop going for a scalp again. So I'm gonna get back in. Be at 100 um, margin here on the out of the gate would be sweet. So as the spawn market opens, this pops. Slamming up into the floor, maybe takes out the high of the um, high of the day so far. I'm gonna know here in about uh, 25 seconds till redemption. You're either gonna be a genius or you blow up the account. Huge pullback coming. 10 second window. Now this is going to kick everybody out of this that doesn't have a wide stop. Okay. There you go. Boom. Now this is a crazy window here. So you've been trading sideways. On the 5. And uh, there's the five over here. All right. Let's see what happens here. Come back to the bottom of the hour. We got a double bottom here. So they kept kicking me out because I wrote this script too tight. So I loaded up so I could get back in $100 of margin here. My target's on the way to that blue line, and I should be out of this trade if it just goes up 40 pips. If you hold on to the scroll key when it starts to fill and cash out, you can keep this in one spot. We could also plunge. That's possible too. Bottom of the hour is coming. I don't know if there's any news coming out. Don't really uh, see any news here. Oh, there's our news today. So we have big news coming out. Non farm payroll. So we'll see how this account survives it. So I could blow up these accounts, I suppose. I'm not going to really pay attention too much to fake money. So what I would do is, um, if you have any pending orders of the real money, you may want to just take everything off. I don't know what's going to happen here at the bottom of the hour, but I'm thinking the spread's going to get so wide that unless you wrote an order for this situation, so we're getting an initial pop here, and I'm fine to just get out with whatever whatever and uh, just put in uh, super wide orders here okay so I'm only interested in my target here and we could be totally cashed out of this thing if it slams back down I'm exposed to a huge amount of risk here I didn't do the math and uh, help you read the disclaimer Okay, so we're either going to make money on this little pop, or we're gonna, they're going to trash us. Okay, hundred dollars of margin. Now, as we come up to the news, we might be popping up to that just as it comes into the news. And this is be the big news after this big smash down of the British pound. I don't even know if the British pound can even achieve. The volatility that it did on no news yesterday so people think the news is a big mover but we already had us uh, we already had a house cleaning on, uh, on downside who, the, who knows what's going to happen here so always want to trade the news on a demo test out your theories um, they could be could be a good trade now the British pound could go down another thousand pips on the news who knows 
So this window here, we could see a pop-up, and then I hope I'm out of this scalp by the time the news comes in, that's all I can say. We'll take the money and run. We could go right through the roof, we could take out the we could just go off the rails right here. Pretty hard to pretty hard to gauge this. So maybe you trade the Euro today. Um, another thing is that maybe you search for what's instruments to trade based on the ATRs. Okay, we got uh, three minutes before the execution, the uh, explosion of... So if you woke up this morning thinking you were going to trade uh, the news and you wake up, there's no money left in your account because you didn't have any stops in, and they spiked you 700 pips. Ouch. That's going to leave a mark. This is why you would just never want to have all your money in one account. But I understand the excitement. That's definitely exciting. Risking it all and that whole idea of you know risk everything. Okay. Two minutes. If we made to the blue line, I'll be getting out hopefully automatically here. We just pop up there just before the news and then maybe it rips back and fills all these limits and just blows up the account. I put a, quite a bit of buy limits in here. I don't know what's going to happen. I think they are going to kick it down. If it gets squirrely here, I'll just get out and take my 50 bucks and run. So I'm at 52 right now. I guess I've got to make a breakout here on that candle. Got an inverted, so we have a um, small body on that. Okay. Spread's probably going to get awful here as you approach the window. I think we'll get out here in about um, 15 seconds if they don't get me out on a pop up. But I've just got so many orders beneath here, and I've real—I don't really trade. Um, I never traded on this uh, with this trade plan here. So this is the stop entry stuff here. That's winning right now. Okay, this should be crazy. Now I'm probably going to get out. Um, I think they're going to pop it up, so let it go. Ten seconds. Spread's going to go now. Spread is at 10 pips. And they could crush me down. Okay, so I think I got out. Let's hope. So I'm out. I still got some winners in there. Um, I'm going to let that go. That's big enough. For these conditions, okay, so let this one go. $18 of margin. $50 of margin left here. And let's cash out of this. Just going to let that go. I don't know what the news is, but uh, I'm ready to get out. Close all profits in the next 10 seconds. Got to hit this blue line. So yeah, they trapped in that range. You got to break out that blue line for a little bit of more money. I watched the video this morning. The guy said, "How to increase your profits?" He said, "Move your targets up." I so thought I never thought of that. Five steps. Five steps to increase your trading profits. He spent the first three minutes telling me that he was going to tell me five ways. It was just insane hysterical okay five minute charts wait for that uh, follow through maybe very tentative not a big move okay oof now I could plunge it could plunge right now 
It could plunge any time, especially when the news comes out like this. My God. So this one's barely in. This one already cashed out. So barely in. I'm gonna take that last winner. Now it's just limits here. Try to get on pullbacks now again. Still holding this one. With the tons of exposure on the bottom side here, if we take out this double bottom on the five, it'll start filling those buy limits down there. Okay, I'll get some follow through here. Come back into this big target here, and then we are out for the while, and then we just have to, uh, I guess, buy, wait for the limits to possibly fill. Okay, so we come back here in two minutes. Okay, five minutes went by, and they pulled it all the way back to the starting gate there. We got an inverted hammer, five. News came out five minutes ago, so I put some buy stops in here, and I've got all these buy limits waiting to get filled. So it's in about thirty dollars a margin there. It was up about twenty six bucks, and um, so that was the um, the range. We're still stuck in this range, trapped in this. This rectangle here. So the scalp, the trap was that uh, they took it up into this. Here they trapped it, pulled it back. Uh, this is that big run. But once again, resistance really is resistance. Okay, so I reloaded. Buy stops, and if you got stopped out of a trade that you uh, put too tight a stop in, it's easier if you've got a key ready to go for that. Just get back and get back on the train. Okay, now can we go through the top of this possibly? So using sixty dollars to make about sixty bucks on this. Blow this top out. Then come back, back in with the buy limits again. So I, I scalped out of something here because I see the, uh, the margin went down. And this one I got back in on limits and a stop and a retrace limit. So I'm going to let that go. Not a lot of margin there, but get to five, get to five grand here. It'll be a great day. So if you can trade through this kind of craziness, it's definitely a great exercise. Yeah, this this plunge and the actually from the rest of the rest of the uh, next two weeks, it's going to be a free for all for the bulls and the bears on this thing because uh, really put in a big big ass uh, candle there. So I guess this day will show this candle. This candle could be a hammer. We could actually close where we opened in Asia. And uh, I'm sorry, open. we could close where we opened at the beginning of the week. I see Asia here is, uh, yeah, you could close. We could be where we, well, where we fell out of bed. So we could retra retrace all the way till we fell out of bed. We could end the day with a hammer, a hammer with a 600 bit wick. There's another possible scenario for the end of today. We're only concerned now with this uh, 50 pip window here, about a 60 pip window. Try to make our 60 pips and get the hell out. A real buzz saw to step in front of here with the wrong size stops. Came in reach. Yeah, so that was the inverted hammer at the breakout pullback line. So this complete inverted hammer, looking to take out the top of that hammer. This is a 20 pip grid, so that's a 60 pip hammer, inverted hammer, in the five minute. Okay, let's clear the trees here, maybe. We're going to try to engulf that inverted hammer now. 
exiting along the way. I'll reduce my margin along the way, get out so I'm up say 100 bucks and I'm flat would be the best scenario. Okay. So news has been out for 10 minutes. We've had a uh, 50 pip whiplash. Okay, let that just go. Don't change any of your exits. Let that scalp out. Now you might want to get out right now at the market. Close all, all, all opens. Because now we're back at fair value for this five minute range. In the middle of the road looking for some follow through there. So you really, they really trap these guys up here on this uh, the breakout. So if you were trading breakouts on the half hour chart of the 15, they trapped you and if your stop was too tight they kicked you out. This was the uh, trap up here. Right on that. They grab that, pull it back. That's well, pretty fair. That's 30 pip uh, rip back off that. So we've engulfed the body of this. We're waiting for follow through. I give this thing um, four more minutes. It's a long time in Forex at this much volatility. So it's definitely tradable. You would just reduce your size on a day like today. You either reduce your size. Or you wide you reduce your size and put wider stops in, or just um, put in tight stops on stuff. But you're going to get kicked out so often on here. I just don't know if it's worth it. It can frustrating to get kicked out of. Uh... Okay, so I've actually made my margin risk. I have six dollars of margin, and I'm up five bucks, six bucks. That's always been my kind of go-to uh, feeling about these high leverage 400 500 leverage accounts is that if you can make your margin every day then that's it I don't know what the percentage of that is of course if you're risking 10% like here ideally if this account was at the 10 grand I opened it at I was risking a thousand dollars on these trades I'm trying to make a thousand dollars I'm risking 10% to make 10% on a thousand dollar account now that might be risky if they're spread on one case I could kind of rash justify that and say, well, I'm getting, I'm scaling in and out of a hundred, uh, out of a thousand dollars of margin. But yeah, you got to be uh, sitting there uh, with your trades ready to go. I think. Okay, got um, two minutes left here, waiting for follow through. So time to make the donuts. I'm gonna make some, make some. Uh, Something a bite to eat here. Okay, my scalp's almost done. We're, we're gonna we're make an attempt to take out this range. So I've been cashing out along the way. This is 40 pips. If you can believe that, you could make 40 pips in this little itty bitty range. You're you're trading in here. I don't think people realize that. You made 40 pips inside. Look at this wick. Are you kidding me? But I can only trade what's right here, and then they could take this. They could take out the high of the day. This is the day they could go up here. I don't have my target set there because I didn't set this platform, this demo account to trade with uh, 300 pip winners with 100 pip stops. So I'm using it as a scalping. Uh, broker right now. So just got out of one more ticket. Every time I see my margin go down. So as this thing streams up, and I'm going to wait uh, one more minute, lock in this five. So it looks like they, they can't seem to push it across the border here. They kicked that football through the goal post of life here. All right, we're waiting for that. We're making a run for it. I'm still underwater on this original. Uh, uh, this was a, a master stop that was over 50 pips on that ticket. So I'm still holding on to that loser. Very top of the screen here. Okay, we're trying to get it. We got a um, little spinning top there at the top. 
guts is keep gotta gotta keep on keeping on here. Looks like uh, kind of iffy. So looks like it's gonna come down. So just have to wait that out. Okay, so we came back to fair value and. Um, I add it to the position on stops, which are really market orders because it's going to buy two pips above current price or a half a pip or a pip, which is like, right, forget about it. The only reason I said it like that was because um, when the market is dropping, you're going to save money not getting filled. So as it's plunging, you're just not going to get picked up in the order flow. Whereas if you buy as it's plunging at the market, I would restrict that to buying every five minutes at the market. So if the market's plunging, and um, you might want to restrict that to every five minutes too, or what have you. But that's the uh, the trick for me is uh, getting away from that market order, that, that kind of, uh, gosh, I just pulled the trigger on that, and uh, I really uh, committed to this idea for the moment. So on the one minute chart, you can see that you can justify it on the one minute chart for dojis and inverted hammers. And the five minute chart, you're just buying this pullback. So it's a completely different signal. Here was the uh, trap, they ran it up to there. We're still caught in this fucking box though. You can hardly see the uh, signals here, so you really have to have your candles. So if you're really trading candles, and say you had a one minute doji bot, and he's going to load heavy here on this because this is uh, open and close at the same price. So maybe he buys at the market, which I kind of did really on this trade. Okay, so three minutes up, one pullback, we get some follow through. We gotta get through this line. So we've been. Uh, so this is the the scalpers are making money off of this uh, accumulation, possible accumulation for a a smack uh, or upwards, or we could come slamming back. And I've still got all these buy limits here that could potentially fill all the way down. So God knows what's going to happen. I just want to get to break out here my targets are all of these olive colors are all my exits and I'll be done on that scalp so if this is the pullback or this is the pullback four minutes of pullback you're getting in here now we've got to keep going up here for this trade to be a winner you have to keep going up in this one minute chart So at least you know what has to happen. Okay, now you have to hold through here. Maybe the top of the hour will be popping through this top here. And then you've got a half hour till the stock market opens, reacts to the British pound. It's going to be reacting to the NFP news. You got this darn farm payroll nonsense that came out. We had unemployment rates. So the non farm there's less jobs the unemployment rate just went up Canada is unchanged so here's the current and I don't know if this means anything to anybody if you could trade off of this I don't know because I'm just trading this breakout so we still have Canadian news and then that's it we're done so do these numbers mean anything to anybody you know, I'd be hard pressed to make any type of trades off of this. So supposedly, there's less people working, unemployment rates going up, and uh, I don't know if these numbers are lagging. Wages haven't changed. Um, unemployment Canada, they're doing better than us, and they have. Employment change is a lot bigger than the estimate forecast. I don't know. 
I just think it's a crack of shit. It's untradeable. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even fucking bother with it, honestly. Okay, let's go back to this um, fucking uh, demo account. Okay, we're going up. There she blows, Captain. 70 bucks using $60 of margin. We're at the borderline. Let us clear that thing. Cash out. Be done with it. Go take a nap. Here's your trend line. Coming up. Bango, bango. Uh, the, this would be your channel on the five minute. Looking for targets up here. Okay, I'm scalp out of this thing. Go rip roaring north. Be done with it. Gotta gotta nick this wick here. And that would be maybe we'll fuel a big move on this. The big uh, target is where the bottom dropped out here on the floor. So uh, kind of tempted to get out here. Give it maybe one more minute. No, I'm just getting out. So let's go flat. I still got that loser on there though. This one. Still holding out of this shitty entry from earlier. Okay, so almost made it to five grand on there. This account, we have uh, reloaded this one too. Let me get out of this one. Put buy limits down again. So I expect all sorts of pullbacks coming. So here will be the pullback orders. And I guess I could duplicate that. You really shouldn't. You should wait for the market to move around and then play in a, a, a grid at a different order area. So I'm scalping the NFP there. So the news came out. If you go uh, look back on that, we're trapped in this range. We're still kind of trapped in that range. We've never made it to this wick. So I had a bell there, and I will re-enter on limits. Still long on this on this bad fill. That's the target is the bad fill. So. Feel like you missed out? Put in some buy limits now. We got to rewrite this buy limit. This is really just getting in a 3K, like just like right there. Alrighty then. You got uh, 15 seconds at the top of the hour, and then we could go smashing down all the way into these buy limits. Plus, I got buy limits sitting right here. Super tight. See, there's the. So, if you're going to buy at the market, why would you just buy like this? On these limits that are just almost ready to get filled. Okay, this is a better. So I waited to hit that key, and therefore I, s I put in a layer at a slightly different price. These are great ratios on this key. So if you know the cost of every key, you're, uh, every button you're hitting, then you've at least got the uh, free, your mind's free from worrying about, here's the monster grid, and you're, you're free from worrying about um, what it's going to cost you. This is better than you get in the, uh, like, see, you're going to go to the bar and there's some hot chick there. You can kind of estimate what she's going to cost you. How many cars is she going to crack up? Right. Okay, now I got filled on those buy limits, so wasn't that better than buying at the market? And you can see what's pending here now. These last 15 minutes, I think, on this key, actually. I know this is red, but that's not a sell. Now I know there's people that do trade on stops. I wrote a script for a guy 
four years ago. He says, well, can you write me a script for the S&P 500? I go, absolutely. So I tried to write it and it wouldn't launch because I didn't do it in a quarter of a point. If you write a script for the S&P 500 on MT4, it has to run in a quarter of a point. Otherwise, if you round it off, the broker won't take it because he's expecting it to trade in fractions. So his, he says, well, can you write me a buy stop? This was hard, hard coded, mind you, that it would put a buy stop in like 10 points or 50 points above where we're at because, and he could make money on that trade, right? And so this is the thing is that would you put a buy stop? I just wouldn't just because I guess it's not my style, but if you put a buy stop here with an exit here and um, protection for the entry here, if this market really does go rocketing up, you can see that even if you got in here, you made money, right? Like, but um, what I'm saying is that I'm using my stops on the other side to come underneath here for the to get in this way. This way, I can have buy stops running, and I'm making money on this, and I could just trade on pure stops. And if you put in these um, kind of like capture of catch a falling knife trades, it's not that these don't make money, but uh, you know, so when I started this account out, I went pure limits on it. Uh, this is a demo account, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to go pure limits across this. I too many pairs on there, and I got locked out. I couldn't trade any. I couldn't place any orders because we were, were locked into the uh, amount of trades I could place. I think this lasts 15 minutes on this. So here we're still trapped in this range after all that. But I guess that's what scalping's about: is just taking the money and running very much like robbing a bank. You can zoom out here. Perfect trend line break pullback here and but see the problem there is that you can say this to somebody. You can say to them, see my trading system? You you buy on the uh, so a guy asked me this guy asked me uh Hannah also oh, this guy the guy's making fun of his name. He said, what do you do about these lines? Yeah, Daryl. Daryl Hanna. What do you do about these lines? The thing is, is that that's a five minute chart and that's a 60 pip wick. So if you bought there, what is that trade really about? Was it about buying because we retested this or the fact that they stopped they they went half a pip below here and it was nothing but a uh, support level in the end and uh, if your target was here from this entry that trades over with and um, it came all the way back and closed here but we know by looking at the one minute chart that we've been here and here in five minutes. So we actually traded that. So are the sellers having fun here on their sell limits to pull back to here possibly? Yeah, 20 pips. So anytime you've got these situations where people are like looking at, this is why I'm saying that when you look at a Gartley pattern on here, are you serious? So if if that actually worked, that Gartley stuff worked, shouldn't it give you an entry here? Shouldn't be this at the bottom of your bat wing? This is a 20 pip grid, and you bought in here, and you got out here, or you bought here with a 300 pip stop, and you got out here. It's just, it doesn't m make sense to waste your time with sexy, sexy uh, Gartleys. Doesn't make, it doesn't, I don't think it pays. Seriously, look at that. Here's the only pullback to go along, so the video I did last night was scalping. That was back here to make 60 fucking pips. Look at all this stuff here. Are you kidding me? So here, we're we're just like a, uh, we're just sitting here now. 
We certainly laid we certainly laid some track there on that uh man. Wow. And once again, I think I got filled on something here, right? Back in this thing. They just keep sucking me back in. It's like the mafia. You think you're out, they suck you right back in. So if this is really breakout, this would be the trap, and we're going to buy in limits here. So these are my limit orders. Instead of buying at the market, I'm buying, um, like, that's just, like, ridiculous. No stops here. Pure limits. This is one stop, and you're left over. Now, this is that bad trade. Been sitting there down down 40 pips on that. Terrible. So I'm in thirty dollars a margin already. Just pure limits. Stops coming in here all the time. So I would rewrite that script. But what I did was I made it so when it gets stops out of that, it's gonna get into this one. These red ones are covering a 75 pip range. I can think I just got stopped out of something. But the ask has to get to the blue arrows. Okay, now we're covering some areas here. So on the one minute chart, maybe I'm waiting for this doji. Buy stop bot's going to come in here. Put some scalps in here on these two dojis. Let that go. We're fighting to get out of this trap. We've never made it out of this thing. All they did was trap these people up here right on this wick. With an inch of their life up there. Pretty cruel. Okay, these are 15 minute buy limits. And then I'm going to Put 15 minute buy limits here too. It's a half hour, one hour. Twenty minutes, stock market's gonna open up. Back in the fifty dollars of margin here. Okay. Stock market opens up. It's going to be crazy. It is crazy out there. Still underwater on this puppy. So my best trade is the limit orders. $50 of margin. Let's try to get this to five grand today. I got five minutes till the stock market opens. And uh, I bought uh, this pullback here. If you look at the one minute chart, you've got uh, this baby candle, this inverted hammer. So if you pull the trigger there or you put a buy stop in there, so I'm going to scalp some of this. And if we can take out this high and finally make it to this uh, uh, scalper's exit, about 50 pips away. Uh, just before the uh, stock market opens, if we get a big uh, short squeeze here, that'd be my scalp. And it's all stops and the limits, if you can see the limits are the, uh, they're, this is the best and this is buying uh, 5, 10, 15 pips deep limits. So instead of buying at the market, no market orders here. So if I wanted to get out here and this takes the uh, edge off psychologically for me, because buying at the market is just such a, a bold move that um, they're saying, uh, be humble, I think it's, be humble. Well, then put away your Gartleys, right? Just going to trade the price action. Okay, so news is, I mean, stock market's going to open here in five minutes. So if we can just pop to that blue line as the stock market opens, and then God knows what. That New Zealand Dow that I got out of earlier on this platform, I was in a bunch of Australia New Zealand. I should have let that go, but I was trying to 
uh, monitor my winnings on just scalping the British pound and it was interfering but it, I would be winning right now because when the news came out New Zealand and Australia went up the dollar went through the floor okay we got to get to this finish line here by the time this stock market opens get out of all this stuff get to five grand on this thing oh see the trap of people Okay, so we got to cash out of something here on the way there. Um, got uh, a few minutes left. So if you're trading a break out of this, it could be a trap for you. If you make this the five minute on the left side and the one minute is on the right, here's your uh, top became a bottom on the five minute. And at the same time, you got a mechanical entry here. Now these are stops now. The limits have already gotten out. Now here's some limits. They're not up as big as the see the stops are making more money than the limits. Okay. I mean the stock market's gonna open up in one and thirty seconds and we're scalping out as it goes up and uh, looking for that to pop through the top of there right when the uh, stock market opens up because even though we've been down 700 pips on this British pound apparently it's bad news and the dollar can they cannot raise interest rates after that news this would be the thing for that and this would be just an uh, auction overreaction here that we're going to just go take out the high from uh, the previous Go, go up and test Asia's high. So here we are cashing out of this, I think. Gotta just pop right through the top there. So cash market's open, stock market's open. We're looking to come back to this uh, big target. They're trapping people here right at the borderline. Possible rip back coming. But not every breakout's a fake out. Okay, so we're hitting targets on that blue line I put up here. This is, uh, we're about 40 pips from the exit doors on the upside of that. So their count is long into it. Up 11 bucks. Okay, I don't know if there's any more news coming out. Yeah, consumer sentiment or something, talk like that. Okay. Let's go let that go to this target. A curious thing is, are we going to blow through this floor and then just keep shearing north? Is it going to be that violent of an overreaction? So definitely, and if you're holding from down 700 pips right now on five standard lots and you pick the exact bottom of this, you need to break off a chunk of that and buy me a British tube amplifier before they raise the... Of course, this this spike here won't mean anything to the to the people on the street. The fact that you sold off seven cents overnight isn't going to make me get that B300 any cheaper. Okay. It's fun to guess. Okay, looks like a trap here for the bear, for the bulls. Got a one minute chart here on the right though. A little different view. One minute chart, but 15 minute. We got uh, 15 minute on the left. The goal post is that blue line. Been waiting all morning for that, hoping for a big slam up to it. But you can see it's a crooked ride there. Decided to take profits off along the way. Scalp 40 bucks at a time. 50 bucks at a time. Maybe there's 10 trades. Depends what time you started. And certainly on that 700 pip plunge, unless you had trading with 100 pip stops there to make 200 pips, very difficult to navigate that amount of psychodrama. Okay, so this would be, uh, we're looking to break out. The uh, robot would have bought on that. 
uh, the, the doji but if it was set to bullish it would have bought this uh, small bodies it would have bought okay we're half a pip from taking out this and we're right on the borderline here we smack into that we're out of most of this stuff we scalp out we go flat and we wait for more wait wait for a pullback now almost getting to my uh, almost making that uh, bad trade look good now we're just a few pips from the borderline now banging right up against resistance here I'm gonna give it one more minute if we don't cut through here I'm just gonna get the fuck out of the market and they can just uh, I just refuse to participate in a bunch of uh, up and down stuff so if you're trying to make 50 pips here and I'm, I'm making I actually making $50 using $40 of margin it doesn't get any better than that so if you make a hundred dollars using $50 of margin then you're doing real good okay we're coming into the target hopefully this thing's gonna go flat into this target and then we just uh, take a power nap come back reassess the situation of course after this morning thing I don't know what's gonna happen there's, a there's of course this market is so volatile that if you're just trying to make 10 pips okay I'm getting ready to bail five more seconds then I hit my target five seconds I'm getting out take the money and run almost at 4800 on this but it's not fair to look at the demo and judge it because I went from trading 10 pairs on limits and now I'm scalping it to like I'm also making money but um, it's a different way to do it okay there you go coming up on that target so even that bad trade's good now I mean, everything's everything's above water now I could get out of everything walk away like the guy said in the video you want to make more money raise your target six, 60 pips on this one this is set to 75 I think there's an easy answer you want to make more money increase your targets of course who's got the patience right to wait for these targets to get hit okay coming right up on the target there right up on the floor so I'm gonna I'm gonna get out here in about uh, I think about one more minute I should be getting out from my predefined exits if not I will just clear them all off the deck almost 4800 here okay two dollars from 4800 looks like one more gust of wind to the north side in this account there's one ticket left that was a buy limit because it says retrace okay now only nineteen dollars of exposure margin wise with forty bucks that's pretty good targets hit it boom now we could slice through the top of that god knows what now so I'll stay for I'm only in 12k now I'll stay for the I mean twelve dollars of margin I'll stay for the extra ride and about to get out got my finger on the exit button yeah I'm about to just bail on everything right about now okay I'm out 4800 and uh, this one I'm gonna get out of this last little guy if he's still in he's out so he got out automatically and uh, that's it that's the scalp now we could see a big giant plunge now so all these orders here may not be good uh, here is the end of the world order and that literally is 100 pip it's unbelievable that is a 70 pip 
run scout there. But had to get out the targets. Sellers are going to come in there. We get out. We go the other way. And uh, that's it. We're not going to run a trailing stop. We're not going to do nothing else there. So if there's any more trades, I'll try to trade this again today and get this account back uh, from the deep, deep losses earlier.